are going to hit a drive here on this 525-yard hole. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Right down the middle, isn't it, buddy? Yeah, that's perfect. Excellent. That's good. Mike, you hit that about 370 yards. You only have 60 yards, 160 to the green. What are you going to hit? I got a nine iron. Let's see it. Got a good lie. Feeling good today. <laughs> I think you hold it out. It's right on top of the pen. Oh, yeah, beautiful worked. shot. Thank you, sir. I wish they were all par fives. Okay. <laughs> all That's right. a fantastic second shot. You look like you got about 10 feet from the hole. Hurt me. I'll get one. Hey. <laughs> Excellent, buddy. Thank you, buddy. And Boy, I love that pivot. That huh. Pivot. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to another. Mm -hmm. Right over it. Okay, we got 230. 235, 3-iron. You're going to hit a little chip shot here. This basically is the 1-8 stroke, which is solely just the wrist. Now, you have to put your thumb behind the shaft of this because we don't want to turn it. Like there? Yeah, and that keeps the blade square. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just, just... Not up on the top, but like that. No, you have to put it on the side so you don't have to pronate your arm. This way, you're reducing it to the least common denominator. Okay. Come behind it, behind it, that way. Okay. Oh, see, almost four knuckles. Now, your palm is working right to the ball. Right, your right palm is working right to the hole there. Yeah, this is a little longer chip shot here. All right. So you have to add the arm movement to the radial flexion here. All right, we got this for the chip. Yeah. And this. But just a little longer. Just that's a the, little longer. That's a double, just to double up the separation of the club head from the ball, you see? And then you add a little more speed and it goes farther, okay? Okay. But now, this is not very much now. And weight balance on that left leg. Because you're not going a full, full two eight stroke. This is in between. Okay. Okay. We're, if we're going to go into the the two eight. You should move back a little farther. Okay. Now you got to hit it short of that green surface. It's a little hot. Yeah. Just look here instead of that. Look here, it's soft. Mm -hmm. That about it. A little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. He's going to get this one. You take this one. What I'm going to do is you guys just keep playing and I'll, I'll shoot a couple of courses. Hmm. See, you probably need a pitching wedge for that. No, I, I want you to use this for chipping. Now, all you have to do is, is not, ex not give the shaft that much impetus, understand? Mm -hmm. Do it this way instead of this way. You see, instead of a strong stimulus, <laughs> Loosen up on, on the power you put into it, okay? Mm -hmm. Right there. Just stick it in there? Yeah. That's right. See, now let's go back a little farther. Okay. Now, see, we're going to use the fairway as a, as a stopping element here. Now you can use the, the full, see... Stroke. All right, now, now, do I need a sandwich for this? No, I want you to use the the hill there to stop the ball. Okay. So pitch it in the hill and let it roll yeah. up? Yeah. Now, you're going to come come back so the hand moves back 
right the, in front of the kneecap and hit it. All right, so this shot's a little longer. Same grip. I'm just yeah. moving my left arm back a little bit. Yeah. Right? All right. Okay. When you hit it short of the green, have to feel. Good shot. One eight. Now the club had just come just above that way. Two eights. The shaft is here. Three eighths is 30 degrees above. Okay. This is called a three eight shot, which means you're cocking your wrist. You move in your arm, and the shoulder blade of the left arm area is moving. Mm -hmm. The club head will come about 30 degrees above your right knee. And where this this is trying and to knock you're it, trying to roll get it short up. of the green and run up because the green will not hold. You got wind behind you, you got hard greens, and this is the only way you can stop it on that green. Did you hear the sound of the club head hitting that ball? Yeah, it, just it sounded clicked. like a chip. It got its name that way. In Scotland, they made a solid ball out of the gum of a gutter punch a tree. And when it was chipped, or when it was struck with the hands in this manner, it gives a sound like chipping bark off of a tree. That's how it got its name, okay? Mm-hmm. Boy, it's a solid feel. This shot is called the 3 8 shot. It gives you a little more arc because you're using the wrist, you're using the arm and then the left shoulder blade. The club head will be cocked about 30 degrees above the right knee. And you judge the amount of impetus you're going to put in it to go the distance that you have to transverse. If you want to keep your score down, you must master this chip and run shot. It's a great shot saver. The more you practice, the easier it is to execute. You must have the proper address position with about 60% of your weight upon the left leg and the balance upon the right. Concentrating on the amount of impetus to put into the club to reach your target. You use this type of shot when the green is hard and the wind is falling you, so you play it using the fairway as a break of the ball coming into the green. It's called a knock down a pitch and run shot. This is a high pitching wedge because you've got to carry over that trap and then you have a downhill slant that'll put impetus on the ball. So you got to get it high and be able to stop it. So I take the now this time. Now you use a regular grip. My just, thumb is on top of the yeah, club. Yeah, just like you grip the others, you know. And I come in it underneath like so. Yes, sir. You have to have your hand coming in like the edge wise. Weight on the left or back? Well, it's slightly a little more on the left than the right. And when you hit this shot, your knee has got to flex. That's right. You held your chin steady. That was good. Okay. The heel detaches. The knee flexes so the hip can rotate around the left. Excellent. That's going to be in a hole. It won't be in a hole. Huh? We got it over the bunker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's super. See, you're not moving your chin. Mm. Huh? Right? Yeah, that's still it's an easy shot. You just got to swing a little bit fuller at it because it's going so high, right? Yeah, you're buying altitude, and you have to have... Yes, sir. So, so one huh? more shot. No, I don't want you doing this, Michael. Ew. I don't want you doing this. Look here. I don't want you doing this. I want this on the still, and this comes on the... Come on there, okay. Okay? You're not trying to pull it there. The ball went in the hole. Okay. 
keep it. Aye, that's right at it. Okay? You have precision this way. If you move that chin, you don't have it. This is a 200-yard hole. Right. It's going to necessitate you taking the boat a six iron. I don't think you have to hit it full out. No, that's a, that's a pretty pretty normal shot. These are yeah. long irons, these Callaway irons. Uh -huh. Right at it. Right on the target there, buddy. Is that a little oh. long? It's a little long. Yeah. About 15 feet, but we'll keep it. Okay. Try another one. All right. This is a 200-yard hole. Necessitates about a six iron. That looks good. That's good body action, good hand action, good control of the shaft plane and the blade of that club. Squaring right up perfectly at impact. Got about 200 yard shot to a little par three here. Trap right, trap left, pin in the middle right. Hitting the six iron. This shot is called the parachute shot. I, I have a slight dorsal flexion in my hand and I keep that dorsal flexion there so when you come through, not the sole is on the ground, but almost the back of the club. Right here. Yes, right and the blade there. is slightly open. And it gets it up quick. It, it drops down very soft, like a butterfly with blistered feet. Where do you, uh, where's your weight? Well, yeah, I'm standing regular there with a little more off of the left heel this time. Got to pick up that heel and flex that knee. Yeah. That looks good. But I, I, I don't want to. Hmm? I don't want to take a dip at his this time. I'm coming in here like a sand trip shot, and I have my hand this way, and it goes up high up. Mm -hmm. look, look, you break your hand down, like you're pushing down with your palm instead of. Do I grip it the, that way, or yeah, you grip, grip it, it regular? You know, you grip it with a Honda grip. Okay. Like that. And now that lays the blade open. It's laid open with like more, so. more break in your wrist, and you're coming through there. Like the hand is fanning ground this way and trying to, instead it's of like hitting it, knob, yeah, it? you're trying to hit it with the edge of the hand instead of the back of the hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Play like, it up front a little bit. Yes. No. I want the hand down. I want it down like that. It gotta look like old fuzzy Zala. Okay. All right. Yeah. See how high it went. Boy, that shot straight up It comes up in down there. just like a. Parachute. You have to have it here and going like the edge of the hand, not the back. This is compression and this is loft. Okay? More, more break. Down. Just get down. You bend over a little bit more. Now, that's right. Man, you're talking about soft. That's a soft shot. Mm hmm. Ooh, that ball just huh? shot straight up. I mean, you can get yourself up. So much trouble knowing how to perform these various type of strokes. It's perfect. Instead of using your wrist link in the regular manner and addressing the ball in the regular manner, you rotate the left arm slightly and you do a kind of a dorsal flexion so you're hitting the ball with the edge of the left hand instead of the back. This gives compression, this gives loft. It just makes it shoot straight up, doesn't it? It does. See, it's sitting there with blades slightly open. Okay. Yeah. Tell me when. Jimmy, that thing just pops it yeah. straight up. You see, there's so many shots that you can turn it 80 into a 70. That's a soft, buddy. Mm -hmm. 
soft. This is called a tight lie. And you cannot use the sand wedge from this tight lie and get the amount of height that you need because when you hit the ground with a bumper, you can't go down. So it'll make you bounce into the ball and hit it fat. I mean, hit it thin. But if you lay the blade of the pitching wedge open, same type, grip same and type of shot. But I'm going in there with a with a hand like this. You see, like so. Yeah, but now it's too much open. Mm -hmm. Don't open it to that. That about right there. Okay. Now you have to figure out how much impetus you're going to. Okay, we're going to try to pop it up. Put into the the shot to make it go the height and the distance. You're working right now with longitude and latitude, but primary latitude. Okay. All right. That's a real tight little yeah. eye. Huh? Now, you, now that's it. Boom. Very good. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see you hold this chin here like this. Like somebody got this locked to the ground and this shoulder's coming to here. And then you look at the ball on this plane, not on that plane, okay? Okay. I kind of move because it's such a tight line. Yeah. I, I just need to stay still, don't I? Yeah, pick up that heel, flex that knee. Okay. The club to use here is a pitching wedge because it does not have the trailing bumper to deflect it off the ground. This is flat and it, it'll fit right underneath the ball. For a pitching wedge, you got yeah. a big. The width of this I mean, thing, the, you, this is not sticking up here, taking this blade off here, the leading edge off the ground. This will not do that. This this allow the blade to go right underneath the bowl. Okay. Okay. You're going to. Okay. Huh? That's excellent. This pops it right out. Yeah. Right? It doesn't matter if you have put it on the. Concrete. Don't make any difference. I used to buy a box of Ojai matches and I put them in to the ground until you just see that little white tip. Balls, you know, I get 500 matches for a nickel. You couldn't hit a 500 balls for a nickel. And I'd sit there and strike that match every time. <laughs> That's developing precision. That's an incredible tip. There. Yeah. I never thought about that. You ever start any fires or anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, All right. if you wanted to use the wedge, let me have a, I mean, the sand wedge, let me show here. you what you have to do. Here. All right, here, buddy. We got a few right here. If you wanted to, if you wanted to use the sand wedge, you would have to play the sand wedge back in the leading edge against that cement there. Of course, when you hit it, it's square. You come in here like this, it, it deflects because that bumper. The bumper. Yeah, if you won't, you won't do it this way. You hit into the crease between the perimeter of the ball and the ground. So if you're going to hit a ball off of concrete, I can have to. If you want to, what would your club would you use? A uh, pitching wedge? I would use a pitching wedge, but you can use this. Okay, well, I'd rather use the one that. Yeah. We got our choice, see, so. If, on this shot, see the lead of this thing is a increase. This is called the lead. Mm -hmm. My hands are. Uh, ahead of that ball. Now when I hit the ground, the, the sole is flat. Here, this way, the, the leading The bumper would be bouncing it, right? He'd knock it, deflecting it up. Okay. So if you wanted to pop it off the cement... You do it with that sand wedge or else do it with this... Pitching wedge would be yeah. better with it. And open, yes. Mm -hmm. Now you got to grip. Yeah, you got to keep that chin from going up and down or left or right. Mm -hmm. Pick up the heel, bend that knee, and let those hands work, you know. Okay. Go ahead. Well, you're a little slow with your hands. Hmm? You're a little slow with the impetus of that club, the speeding. I think if I ever had this shot, I'd let the rules of golf be my friend. I'd take my drop. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to stand in water. If you do that, you know, hmm? have to stand in an unsecure position. 
That way. Get your hand a little stronger. A little stronger. Yeah. All right. Hit it with the edge now. Come on down underneath it. Underneath. Oh, right yeah. There. Right there. That's it. The safety shot to use off a cement like this, if you're going to play it off a cement with a pitching wedge. Because of the bumper? A it lack doesn't of a have bump. the bumper. And to see, you hit this bumper hitting that thing like it kicks this blade up. But you hit it like this, it'll go underneath the ball now. You mean like a, where the difference in the pitching wedge, we don't have this big bumper here. Yeah, the trailing edge is... So this would dig and then that bumper would bounce it off the cement? No. Or this will go... No, uh, the bumper would deflect the club up. And this will allow it to slip under without deflecting. So okay. we got a... Just same yeah. grip and everything yeah. as we did with the parachute shot, but with a pitching wedge? Yeah. But, All right. Is that strong enough? Yeah. You have to go down a little bit more. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Now, be sure you... Boom. That's good. Understand? Yeah. Now... <laughs> That's amazing. I want to sh I'll show you something. All right. Suppose you want to make this ball go that way. And you've got a lie right here. And it's, that's immovable. Understand? So You want a ball? Yeah. I want to show you something. Let's start again. Let's discuss it. All right, here we go. Suppose, America, Suppose you find your ball. Suppose you find your ball almost against that wheel. Now, the only way you, you, you think you could hit it was this way. But I want the ball to go back over that way. Now, watch. Now, this angle of incident is going to take this ball way left. You see, when you impact that ball like that, coming this way, the angle of incident will shoot it over there. So you can make it go over there by holding the club here this way. I didn't, I didn't do it, but... You see, it'll go over that way instead of that way. Hmm. Put one down. You do it. I'm, I, it's kind of hard for me to do... My you think you with a sand wedge? Yeah. But any club you want to hit it with is whatever. You can hit it with a sand wedge. You can hit it. But so, you don't. So I'm trying to get it to go back that way, yeah. but I'm having to hit it. Like so. So I do this? Yeah. Now, make a normal swing? Yeah. Just do it easy. A little easy shot there. But be sure that face is that way. It's closed in. It's towed in. Toe in more. Toe in more. Mm -hmm. Put it at 45 almost. Okay. Close the blade 45 degrees. Like that? Well, not that way. That's a 90. Mm -hmm. like yeah, that? like that. Okay. And watch it go. It's not going to hit my left foot, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty slick little shot. Okay. See, you save a stroke there. You know what? You don't have to take an unplayable line. So you line. play it from an open? Oh, yeah, yeah like open. A, I mean, a, yeah. no open stance. You don't have to. Okay. See? Amazing. That's an amazing shot. Yeah. 